storm. Windstorm, get somewhere safe, please. It's dangerous. <coughs> Run! <coughs> Run away! Windstorm, get somewhere safe, please. Wow, calm down, are you crazy? Wh where am I? What happened? You are still with me in the car, an hour now. Good going. By the way, your latest foster parents were about to call the police after you almost broke their son's nose. How do you expect to ever find a family if you keep doing this? Uh... Don't give me that look. I know you didn't mean it that way. I didn't want to punch him. He didn't give me any other choice. Ari, you always have a choice. You have to control yourself. You are ruining your future with this. Just promise me that you are a bit more relaxed this time. I am risking a lot with this. Hmm. <laughs> and there we are. Kaltenbach Ranch. Or Therapy Center Kaltenbach. Depends on how you look at it. Ari? Ari? Are, are you crazy? She was very kind. I feel bad for her. But I am not going to another foster family. I saw an airport sign on the way here. Fiji sounds nice. Or maybe Alaska. Or Austria. Then I don't have to learn a different language. What if this other family would have been nice to me? It's not like I want to cause trouble all the time. Oh, hello, big guy. What are you doing here all alone? Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Hey, little girl, what are you doing here? Do you want an autograph from Windstorm? Windstorm? The famous Windstorm, pride of the Kaltenbark Ranch. Have never heard of him? He... he looks unhappy. Uh, unhappy is putting it lightly. The poor animal is going through a, a rough patch. A fire burned his home down. His best friend Mika is in a coma. His son is somewhere in North America. His mare is, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. He will have a hard time getting back on his feet. That uh, hooves. I, I know this might sound weird, but 
I dreamt of him. Well, Windstorm is a famous horse. Many young people dream of him. No, not like that. I didn't even know about him until now. You mentioned a fire? I dreamt how he... How Windstorm saved a young girl with red hair to protect her from a raging forest fire. A young girl, you say? Huh, that is strange. Are you sure you didn't see that in the news? Yes, very sure. He looks sad. Can I pet him? Mm, I fear that won't be this easy. Not only does Windstorm need affection and care, he also needs a very strong and dominant hand right now to give him security. Baldach. Bald axe? Baldach. The warrior. Grandpa, are you there? Fanny's mad as hell. An orphan she was supposed to take care of jumped out of her car, and we have to go out and find... Let me guess. Ari. Yep. And that is short for... Ari. Okay, I see. Well, Fanny needs you at the ranch, and she's mad as hell. What were you thinking? Uh, don't worry, Sam. She was just keeping me and Windstorm company. No harm done. Well, if you say so. In any case, I have to take her to the ranch now. She's Fanny's problem then. Here we are, Kaltenbach Ranch. Oh no, not now. Don't leave me hanging. <coughs> Sam, are you crazy? Turn that thing off! Sorry, Fanny. <coughs> it's over. Engine died. <sighs> Anyways, I found Ari with my grandfather in Windstorm. The poor tractor. A new tractor was long overdue. We need something that represents the ranch a bit better. Yeah, yes, of course, Isabel. I also don't want to see you run around like a stable boy anymore. Don't you agree, Say? Y yes, Isabel. I... It's Sam, by the way. Hmm. You should take better care of him, Fenella. He might not only need a new tractor. Why don't you get yourself a new job, you snake? Oh, I will, Fenella. I will. <sighs> you! Wah! What were you thinking jumping out of my car like that? I am sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. I was scared. You can't buy anything from an apology. Otherwise, you'd be a goldmine for Child Protective Services. <sighs> Again? You are quite something. You know that? Anyway, I'll introduce you to the others. This is Sam. I am Sam. Very funny. He works here as the stable boy. Takes care of the horse droppings. He sleeps in the hay. He is the grandson of the great Mr. Khan, who you already met. Hi, Sam. The blonde snake over there is Isabel. She works here as an intern for the private horse management sector, or something like that. She thinks she's a big deal around here. I heard that, Fenella. Hello, Isabel. I am Ari. <laughs> then, the great-grandmother and owner of the ranch, the one and only Maria Kaltenbach. Without her, this whole place would fall apart. Welcome, Ari. I think we'll get along just nicely. As long as you do your part here at the ranch. She is very tough. However, she is not feeling so well lately. Well, enough to see you're not working, Samuel. To the stable with you. I need Ecuador and Autumn ready within the next hour. Uh, of course, Mrs. Kaltenbach. Mrs. Kaltenbach, have you already taken your medicine today? Thank you, Isabel. What would I do without you? And here we have... Tinka! I am here from time to time as a stable girl. Hey there, Tinka. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ari. Ah, Ari. If you have time, could you lend me a hand? It's the least you can do to repay me for my... taxi service. 
Fanny will take care of your stuff and get your room ready. Whatever you need, Sam. Ecuador and Autumn here need some care before the clients come. We have to get them both ready. Go to the well and bring me a bucket of water. You can't miss it. It's right around the corner. Will do, Sam. Thanks. All right, now for the finishing touch. Get me the saddles. You'll find them outside of the exhibition area. On my way, sir. Would be here. Strange. Huh? You weren't introduced before. Who are you? Me. I just arrived here. If you haven't heard of me, then I wonder what you're doing in this business at all. Thorder Thorvaldson, Star Horse Trainer. Have you seen any saddles lying around here, Mr. Thorvaldson? Saddles? This is a disaster. Lying around somewhere? No wonder this place is losing its reputation by the minute. No, I have not. Now scram! I found a scary cat man, but no saddles. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. Tinka! I'm looking for the saddles for Equalizer and Bottom. Oh, yes. You mean Ecuador and Autumn. They're right here. Thanks. Sam needs them. If you were done fooling around with Sam, could you join me? Mr. Khan is bringing Windstorm to the ranch. Windstorm is coming? Oh, yes. I will be there as soon as I get Sam the saddles. saddles for a uh, quad core and blossom Ecuador and autumn thanks Ari Sam come quick something has happened Fanny what is going on Maria she's not feeling well she fell over we called an ambulance oh no mrs. Kaltenbach are you all right she just fell over while we had a quick lunch break <coughs> I am fine. <coughs> I am fine. Stop looking at me like that. Maria, I told you not to overdo it. You said I will be fine if I take the medicine you gave me for crying out loud. I said it might get better. I'm a veterinarian for crying out loud. You need a proper doctor and properly prescribed medication. Excuses, excuses, my dear Andreas. Mrs. Kaltenbach, they are going to take you to the nearest hospital and afterwards to the Health and Rehabilitation Center, as discussed. And then what? I take vacation? What about the open house? The ranch? What about... <sighs> You're right. I might need a rest. 
Well, not a rest. Maybe... Maybe I need a replacement. But Mika is not here at the moment. Not Mika. She doesn't have what it takes. I am talking about Isabel Herberg, of course. E excuse me? She has what it takes. The discipline, the knowledge. I also think that she is the best fit for the job. She will take over full responsibility of the ranch. Temporary, of course, and then, after I return from my... vacation, we will measure her by her skills and see if she can do it. Mrs. Kaltenbach, I don't know what to say. Thank you for all the trust. You are going to do a great job, Isabel. I am sure of it. <sighs> what a disaster. Poor Mrs. Kaltenbach. Told her not to overdo it. Say, do you have a moment? There are some important business matters to discuss. As I am now in charge of the ranch, I need a strong right-hand man helping me out around here. Y yes, Isabel. Uh, Ari, is it okay if I leave you here for a while? It's okay. Tinka asked me to join her and your grandfather. Tinka, Mr. Khan, Windstorm, good to see you all. <laughs> Ari, how are you? You seem to have settled in well. I brought Windstorm because one of the new trainers wanted to see him. New trainer? That must be, uh, that Thor guy. Thor Thorder? Thorder Thorvaldson? Yes, that was it. Do you know him? More than just no. We go way back. Oh, Windstorm, I hope they know what they're doing. Is something wrong? No. Uh, well, yes. I'm not sure if that new trainer is what Windstorm really needs at the moment. Hmm. Ari, what do you think of taking Windstorm out for a ride? What? Really? What? Windstorm? Yes, uh, I do have a good feeling. Just hop on him and use all your senses. Just relax and try to feel his inner voice. Tinker can accompany you for a ride around the ranch.
Impressive. Quite impressive. You do have a lot of talent, Ari. Did you just ride Windstorm? Just like that? She has it in her blood. Just like Mika. Yeah, just like Mika. That's just crazy. Who is Mika? I heard her name a lot. Mika was the only person who could ride Windstorm. It was crazy. She was able to do it from the moment she arrived. She is a bit like you. Sadly, she is in a coma now. She visited Windstorm in Andalusia when a wildfire broke out. We brought them both back to Germany for treatment. Hmm, poor girl. She's also one of the reasons why Windstorm is not feeling so well. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to talk to Isabel Herberg about an apparent urgent matter. You did great, Ari. Say, what is going on? That is our most valuable property. It doesn't belong in a child's hands, especially not hers. Isabel, you gotta see this. She was riding Windstorm like it was nothing. It is a jumping horse, Say. It's in his instincts to carry the rider. She did nothing to contribute. It was dangerous and reckless. For her and the ranch. But, but... Enough. You heard the manager. The horse will now be specially trained. Everyone back to work. Windstorm is coming with me. Special training? What do you have in mind? <laughs> no, no. He is scared. I can feel it. Don't trust him. Ari, it's fine. Get off the horse. No, no. Sam, stop him, please. Get off that horse, girl. Right now. Ugh. Get down there. Will you hold still now? Let me through. I have to get to Windstorm. Don't even think about that. You'll stay here and think about what you've done. I need to protect him. Please. Ari, we need to protect everyone from you. Are you even listening to yourself? I'm trying to convince everyone that you are not crazy and you were just lashing out. I had to call Child Protective Services, and Isabel almost called the police on you. You didn't leave us much choice, Ari. This was doomed to failure from the very beginning. Mrs. Kaltenbach has a serious heart condition, and Isabel is now in charge. She knows what's the right thing to do. For the farm, Windstorm, and Mika. No, she wants everything. She wants Kaltenbach, and you are her stupid janitor. I've rarely seen someone as obsessed with power as Isabel. And how was Isabel supposed to help Mika? Mika and Windstorm, my grandfather told me that they have a deeper connection. Oh, so you believe that, but not that Isabel wants to take over the whole business here. Even if, maybe she is doing the right thing. 
Sometimes you are a real idiot. I'm leaving. Sam! We have to! Ari, you screwed up, okay? You can't stay here anymore. You will go somewhere where you are better off than here, and where you can't ruin everything. Sam! <laughs> Leave it be, alright? You are 13. What do you understand? Sam! Please don't be blind! Stop it, Ari. I've had enough. I've had enough of all of this, and enough of you! Ah! Ari? Come back immediately! Ari? Ari! Fire! Who would have thought a legend like you is scared of some tiny flames? <laughs> yes, I control the flames, not you. Give in to your fear. I can help you. <laughs> you are a stubborn one, aren't you? But not for long. You will... Windstorm? What? Oh, it's you. He must understand that I am in control of his fears. This is inhumane! Stop it once! You force your respect on him with all means and lose his trust. This can't work! Please, he's scared! <laughs> you are so naive, little brat. Go ask the great Khan, Sam's grandfather. He taught me this technique years ago, and it's still a solid method. Why don't you relax and watch? You maniac! You better watch out, girl. Or you'll be in the biggest trouble of your life. I didn't see you coming last time, but this time I am prepared. You wouldn't want your fingers to get burned now, would you? Let him go! This is your last warning! Naive little piece of- Oh! I warned you! I'm gonna take you down, I swear! Shh! Windstorm, stay calm. I'm with you. Don't be scared, please. You can do it. All right? Don't even think about leaving the ranch. I swear, we will catch you and the horse. You hear me?
Crunch is incoming. Uh, uh, ouch! Uh, I can't see. Windstorm, don't slow down. Please, they mustn't get you. Whatever you do, don't slow down. Please. Don't be scared, warrior. We are by your side. We will protect you. Are you sure? He seems so distant. I even think that he doesn't want to be touched by me sometimes. Yesterday's excitement took its toll. Your friendship with Windstorm is only at the beginning, and still rather fragile. Only mutual training and working together will get you closer to that goal. Well, enough for now. I put a few markers up on the hill. Take Windstorm and follow the markers, and then come back. 